Hello, my name is Adonis, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing an X return spread for all of my Taurus out there for the month of June. So, let's get after it. <clears throat> so, rising Venus and Jupiter, Sun, Moon, Rising Venus and Jupiter, Sun, Rising Venus and Jupiter, Sun, Rising Venus and Jupiter. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. What kind of love or energy are my Taurus dealing with? Doing the most of the what kind of love or energy or mark we're dealing with doing currently dealing with some cards that I need to see. Okay, so it's good. Ooh, that one to pop out, so we're definitely gonna take that one. Ooh. Two. Alrighty, okay, all right. All right, so we got long-term commitment, happiness, possibly a family situation, all right? Um, and we have a lot. We got an Ace of Wands here, fire sign individual, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. It's a lot of sexual, a lot of sexual energy here, a lot of sexual creative energy, okay? Which is, this, this is a person who wants to have a long-term commitment possible possible children now i am sensing here that this person is feeling like their hands are tied behind their back here because there is a great deal of sexual chemistry and sexual attraction this person wants to have children but they they're feeling like their hands are tied behind their back because you're not exactly feeling the same way about the children thing as they are okay and that's pretty. That's that's pretty much what's going on here. There's just there's, there's like this, you know, there's sexual attraction there. You can see yourself being with this person for a long time. It's just you're not really sure about the children thing. So it's either you want children, uh, and having an issue. Either they want children and having an issue. I can't really tell. It's kind of hard because it's, it's very it's a lot of emotion pertaining to children. So. I'm going to take a gander and saying it's them, but it could also, it could be you, all right? So it could be either or, but one of you are having a lot of problems with, with the whole children aspect, okay? I feel like your hands are tied behind your back here, um, moving forward with this. There's also this sense of, there's also um, two more people in the spread too. We also have a younger fire sign individual here. That is on the periphery. And you're probably unaware of this individual. This is a fire sign individual. Um, <clears throat> and you're, like I said, you're probably unaware of this individual. This person has a lot of exploratory energy that they're dealing with. A lot of exploratory energy, kind of looking at things a, a little bit of a different way. Um, so this is a person that, you know, may come off as a little bit odd, maybe. But they don't, they're kind of on the periphery, on the outside looking in, if you will. They're looking to take a leap of faith, too. So as soon as uh, things look like they're kind of starting to go in the bad direction between you and this other fire sign, this person will probably make themselves known. Like I said, I do not feel like you know who this person is right now, but they're just kind of watching you, okay, if you will. Not in a kind of creepy, stalkery type of way, not that, but this person is kind of like on the periphery, just kind of like seeing how things are playing themselves out, okay? And finally here, we have a younger earth sign individual we're talking about here now this person um uh this is this is a a virgo taurus or capricorn energy and this person is trying to this p person is it's been communicating a little bit all right they've been they've been kind of like articulating themselves they're very careful with their word usage and word you you get yeah, usage because they're trying to um, create a certain type of impression, if you will. You know, they want you to know that they're interested, but they're not trying to really just really like drop the mother load and just be really heavy handed with it. So they're they're pretty much kind of there's like a little bit of you know placid, if you will, uh, uh, flirtation that's going on here. And this person has the sense of they want this long term committed relationship with you. Okay, and it's also. It's also maybe somebody at one time that you did date. Cause there's a the judgment card, so there's there's some ex stuff going on here too. This person may may at one time been your ex, but this was an ex from like a while ago, 
And, you know, now this person is kind of making themselves known again. So, you know, there's some communication taking taking place with you and this individual. So, with that being said, that's what's going on in your neck of the woods. So, let's see what's going on with your ex now. Okay? So, this ex that I'm going to be reading for, it could be an ex that happened. It doesn't ne not necessarily mean this is the ex that you just broke up with. It could be the ex from a while ago, you know, a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. All right? So, let's see. What kind of energy are your ex trying to get? What kind of energy is your ex trying What kind of energy is your ex trying to What kind of energy is your ex trying to What kind of energy are your ex trying to What kind of energies are your ex trying to get? Energies, 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 Okay, so your ex has currently walked away, looking to walk away from a situation, okay? Currently walk away from a situation dealing with a water sign, a younger water sign individual here. Um, I'm getting a sense here there was a lack of a recognized victory here. So they're walking away because they weren't really getting the recognized victory from this younger water sign individual. Okay, that then there's a lot of soul searching and self-reflecting that has been going on here with your ex, okay? With the hermit card here. A lot of soul searching, a lot of self-reflection. Um now with that being said here, um there is this push for a reconnection with an ex. Okay? So there is this this push for a re reunification with an X here, because at this point we have the Six of Pentacles. They're willing to like kind of give this this equal give and take, if you will. So there's definitely a sense of wanting to give have this give this equal give and take here, um, and give this sense of moderation. So they're looking to be very generous um, with their time and their energy, um, be more balanced, if you will. And this is pretty good and when it comes in terms of reconnecting with an ex. So they, uh, this this reconnection with an ex has been uppermost on their mind. And finally here, there is an air sign individual that's also within their orbit. And this person is moving very rapidly towards them like a bull in a china shop. I don't really see a whole lot of interest in this individual, though, this air sign individual that's rapidly approaching them very recklessly. Okay? The, the, what's really standing out here is this... This wanting to reconnect with the next here. All right. So that's what's going on with that. So with that being said, let's see what are the chances of you and potentially um, what the, what's the potential of you and your ex reconnect? What's the chance of you and your ex reconnect? Even if it's just in a civil way, not necessarily romantically, but even if just a civil way, what are the chances of you and your ex reconnecting? Ooh, well, um, there is going to be, there's going to be some type of interaction as far as, you know, you know, there's going to be some type of interaction here for sure. Um, it's going to be very brief because both of you feel as though you have the high ground here. Um, they think they're right. You think you're right. So it's gonna be, maybe it's going to be very, very, a very brief interaction here. Um, it's going to happen at some type of celebratory event, maybe a bar, someplace where there's alcohol or something like that. Um, yeah, so there's definitely going to, going to be some type of alcohol involved. There's going to be other friends, other people there that you both mutually know. Um, but there's going to be this sense of having one's hands tied behind their back. So this may be you feeling like you have your hands tied behind your back. Uh, or or this could be them as well, okay? So that but that's definitely the sense of, of hands being tied behind one's back here, um, because it's going to be the sense of frustration, like um, because you both feel like you have the high ground here. So uh, there there's going to be a very brief reunion, and it may be a little bit um, contentious, I might say. So with that being said. Um, 
see what additional information Spirit wants to get before I shut this thing down. What additional information does Spirit want to get before I shut this thing down? Spirit saying compromise. So, in other words, you can both agree to disagree, and that would be a very, um, in light of the of, of of some of the past baggage and history there, a compromise, agreeing to disagree, would be a very good thing here. Um, also, look for a sign. Okay, look for signs that. There's actually some traction that's being made as far as compromise here. So, again, it doesn't mean that you, it's going to be all warm, loving, and fuzzy. But it means is that you both guys can both agree to disagree and, 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 and coexist in the same space. Even though it's going to be a brief interaction, okay? Are things going to change with you guys? Most likely, probably unlikely. Highly unlikely, as a matter of fact, okay? So, yeah. There is that. So with that being said, I'm going to shut this thing down now. Hey, thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me. Had some family issues. They seem to be resolving themselves on an upswing, so that's good. Um, I owe you guys some readings. I'm kind of a little bit backed up. So if you don't get it today, some of you are going to get them today. The guys, those of you who do not get them today will absolutely have them tomorrow. I promise. So with that being said, this is a general love reading. It may not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, you want to know a little bit more, I'll leave the link below so you can self push the reading. Um, if you haven't already, please like, please share, and please, please, please subscribe. My name is Adonis. I love you guys, and I will absolutely see you next time. Bye-bye.